What is up guys, Lennox Noob here with another video. Today I want to talk about a topic that has been gaining a bit of momentum recently, that being gaming on Linux and does it actually make any sense. Let's get right into it. Now as I said, this topic has been gaining a bit of momentum recently with especially the launch of Steam Machines and Steam OS itself in the last year. And also PC gaming in general gaining uh, significantly market share uh, in the recent days. I think there's a great time to talk about the potential or the future of Linux as a gaming platform. Now I'm a hardcore gamer myself and what I'm about to say is completely my own opinion. Your opinion might be different and I'm absolutely fine with that. But uh, being a hardcore gamer for a long time, uh, for above 10 years now, this is what I think uh, about gaming on Linux right now. Now being a hardcore PC gamer for more than 10 years now, when I thought of uh, gaming in Linux, the very first question that came to my mind was, I have Windows and everything just works fine then why I should even consider switching to Windows and uh, I spoke to a few of my friends who also happens to be hardcore gamers like me and that was the very first question that they asked as well to me when I spoke about gaming on Linux and switching over to Linux for gaming like and I think this is the question for every single PC gamer uh, when we talk about Linux gaming, we are already gaming on Windows and everything seems to be absolutely fine with it, then why should we even switch? Now to answer that, I really started asking myself, is Linux really any good for gaming? Now in order to be a viable platform for gaming, there are three things that we could, uh, need, uh, especially like a platform for all your games like where you can go ahead and buy your games and uh, keep it in one place a uh, stable user base and last but not the least the games especially the AAA titles that influence people into buying into a platform the most now as far as the first thing is the concerned now as we have Steam on Linux, uh, platform isn't uh, that much of an issue anymore. Of course, uh, Origin, Uplay are not yet there, but uh, Steam uh, has most of the games anyways. So it's mostly solved. And Now the second and third point is really where the problem for Linux begins. That being the user base, a stable user base of gamers, and the games itself. Now this is where the chicken and egg thing problem starts for Linux. Developers won't be making uh, big AAA titles and porting them to Linux until there is a stable user base like uh, they can sell their games to on Linux. On the contrary, the customers won't be jumping onto Linux, the gamers won't be jumping onto Linux if the games aren't available on Linux and this is a huge problem, someone has to step up like uh, this is being better now as uh, companies like Volvo, Valve are stepping up but this is still the biggest issue that really the games aren't available now uh, it's being better, it's getting better Now it's getting better nowadays. Uh, well, we see AAA titles are actually being launched on Linux, and of course, indie games. A lot of indie games are being ported over to Linux, but it's still not there yet. Like the libraries are not there yet. Like of course, there is Dying Light on Linux. There is uh, Arkham Knight on Linux, and Metal Gear Solid 5 on Linux, but really if we like as a gamer as a customer if I go out uh, to a shop and buy a game I'm almost certain that it works on Windows but in order to be a Linux gamer I have to go out before buying any game I have to check if it runs on Linux and then buy it actually so uh, 
we can clearly say that the libraries are not there yet. It, obviously, it's getting better with big companies step, stepping up, but uh, really, it's not there yet. As and as a gamer, uh, I don't want to like deal with that hassle to checking out uh, every game will run on Linux or not, and I won't. I ne necessarily want to limit myself to uh, a certain number of games because of my platform. I want uh, every single game that is being released on PC to work on Linux. And also one more thing, even if the games are being actually released on Linux, like the AAA titles we see nowadays, it generally speaking, it runs worse compared to their Windows counterparts on Linux. Uh, simply because uh, developers are not willing to put that much effort into the into optimizing actually the games uh, for Linux because again there isn't that user base they know they won't be selling that game that much compared to Windows on Linux and uh, so it's simply not worth the effort they are not going to get their money's worth out of optimizing the game for uh, Linux. Uh, also, one more thing uh, for gaming games not running that well on Linux is simply the lack of drivers. Of course, Nvidia and AMD they both have their proprietary drivers for Linux, but the problem is they also do not put that much effort into making the drivers or optimizing their drivers for Linux itself uh, compared to what they do on Windows. This is where again the user base factor comes in. They don't spend that much. Uh, time and effort into making the drivers and optimizing the drivers for the hardware on Linux uh, simply because there is a lack of user base. Now one more thing that I think uh, is really stopping Linux from being a viable gaming platform today is and I know I'm gonna get a lot of hatred for this for saying this uh, but it's actually piracy whether we like it or not, we all know piracy on Windows or PC is huge. And uh, we all have done this, I've done this before. Uh, I'm sure most of the PC gamers has done this at some point. And whether we like it or not, this is just what it is. PC gaming has a huge market share uh, because of piracy. You can pirate games on PC quite e easily nowadays and that is not the case with the consoles. Now, if you go on a torrenting site and search for the cracked version of a game that you want to play, you will most definitely find a cracked version, but the problem is, it will be for Windows. You search for the Linux version of the same game, you probably won't find it for 95% of the games, you will, won't even probably find a torrent, or even if you find a torrent, you uh, it might not be an active torrent, it means yeah, you probably won't have seeds. Uh, for the torrent, so you cannot get the pirate copy of the game uh, for yourself. And again, why, as to why this is happening, uh, the people that makes these cracks, uh, they know there isn't that user base for Linux gaming, so even if they invest their time and make a, game, a crack for the games on Linux, uh, pro most of the users won't even notice it and won't be using it anyways, and Windows is where the uh, market share is so they do, if they have to release a crack for a game they most certainly do it on Windows. Now even after everything I just mentioned Linux gaming is uh, gaining some sort of momentum nowadays uh, especially because when a company like Valve actively supports uh, Linux uh, the user base of Steam uh, is so huge that uh, of course some people will be jumping uh, onto Linux or uh, at least giving Linux a try uh, to see whether they like it or not and I think it will increase even more when SteamOS finally launches right now it's in beta as of this video uh, but it will probably launch uh, at the end of this year or at the beginning of next year in its final stage and of course with the launch of Steam Machines which will uh, ship uh, preloaded with Steam OS I think that the market share of uh, Linux gaming will uh, see a definitely uh, increase. But the question is even if it does, even if the user base of Linux uh, does increase significantly more even then, will we be in a position to beat uh, Microsoft's Windows in terms of a gaming platform? Now here the 
first very first question that I asked in, in the beginning of the video comes to the mind like in order to really beat uh, Windows in terms of user base you need something that will convince the gamers that are on Windows right now to jump ships to Linux and uh, really then the question will become again that the people that are already on Windows like myself why should we even jump ships to Linux of course uh, cost is a major factor uh, you need uh, to buy Microsoft a license of Microsoft's Windows and Linux is of course free and so is SteamOS uh, for that matter but problem is most of the time cost is not the only thing that uh, gamers are looking for the people that uh, genuinely buy the games like AAA titles release for $60 most of the times the people that buy games for $60 a couple of games a year uh, 120 to 100 to 120 dollars for the OS won't be a huge issue for them, and those who doesn't want to pay for games or software in general will going to be pirating Windows like they do now, anyways. So uh, I think cost uh, right now is not that huge of a factor uh, for Linux in order to gain momentum in gaming. Of course, it's a kind of a factor, but it's not as deal breaking uh, as you might think. And right now I cannot think of a single reason why uh, a, a hardcore gamer like me will jump ships from Windows to Linux. Like there has to be something, either the games on Linux has to run better which PC gamers are all looking for all the time or, or it needs to have some kind of X factor that, like the consoles have for, uh, with their simplicity or uh, like something like exclusive which is very unlikely to happen for Linux since it's an open source platform and community driven platform and you really need to uh, pay the companies in order to get exclusive so that is not an option as well so there is not really something I can think of right now why someone uh, will jump onto Linux from Windows uh, and it's really missing that one key factor uh, like something that the Windows won't have or something uh, the Linux will have, do better in terms of gaming uh, compared to Windows. And that really brings us to the conclusion of the video as to what I think of Linux uh, as a gaming platform uh, right now and in the near future. Well, I think it's only gonna see uh, some increase of user base, uh, but I don't think for the reasons I just mentioned it's going to be like huge and it's gonna um, surpass Windows uh, users in in terms of gamers within the next uh, three to four years uh, it doesn't look like uh, that happening anytime soon that is what my thoughts are as Linux as a gaming platform tell me what do you think uh, do you agree with me or disagree in the comments uh, down below also leave uh, your feeds back uh, in the comments like the video if you like it and also subscribe to the channel uh, for more videos on Linux see you on the next one